Welcome. How about that for a welcome, everyone? I'm Marty Snyder from NBC Sports, and welcome to World, World, World Headquarters, where today we have a very special announcement and a big day for Ford and for NASCAR. And how about the P51 Mustangs to debut the brand new Mustang NASCAR Cup Series car? We want to thank everyone here, and there's a lot of you here. We appreciate you guys coming out. We also want to welcome everyone watching us around the world live via live stream today on what's going to be a very significant day. We're here in what we'll call Mustang Victory Circle to debut the brand new NASCAR Mustang that will uh, be debuted next year in February and then a Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series, of course, in Daytona as well. Now, the Mustang just drove up from the Flat Rock Assembly Plant. It's about 20 miles away here to Dearborn, and it came up with the 13 Cup Series drivers. You'll see all of those guys coming up here in just a little bit as well. And it's pretty cool because the Flat Rock Assembly Plant, the 10 millionth, Mustang rolled off the line just yesterday. How about that? 10 million Mustangs in production. Certainly creating, certainly creating a heritage that is very much deserving of the Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series, no doubt about it. We want to thank the Ford employees who are here, so appreciate you guys coming out as well. And, of course, Jack Roush with his P-51 flyover. That was pretty cool, as we mentioned. Also want to talk about some dignitaries that are here and thank them for being here this afternoon as well. From NASCAR, Mike Helton and Steve O'Donnell are here. Thank you guys for being here. Jack Roush is here as well. Jack's over there. Gene Haas of Stuart Haas Racing. Eddie and Lynn Wood of the Wood Brothers. Walt Zarnicki from Team Penske. Archie St. Hilaire of Go Fast Racing. And Doug Yates of Roush Yates. Thank you all for being here. So to get this thing going and get the unveil going, I want to introduce you to a very passionate Mustang advocate. He has been such a critical part of all of this. Ford's Executive Vice President of Product Development and Global Purchasing, Hal Tai Tang. Hal? Thank you, Steve. On behalf of the Ford, uh, the entire Ford team, welcome to all of our Ford fans. Uh, thank you so much for being here today. What a momentous day for Ford, uh, for all of our race fans. It's been a week-long celebration for all of us as part of uh, the Mustang team. And I, I want to echo uh, Steve's sentiment. So thank you to all of our uh, team owners, our race car drivers, NASCAR. Uh, we couldn't have done this without you. Now, we have a lot of great iconic uh, products at Ford. Clearly, the Model T put uh, the world on wheels. The F-150, we know it's the best-selling vehicle in the country. We know what a huge profit driver it is for us. But this product, the Mustang, is the heart and soul of the Ford Motor Company. And for us to be able to deliver t not only 10 million vehicles, but 54 years running, this is the longest continuously running nameplate in our family. So uh, let's recognize all of our employees, uh, the folks at Flat Rock who, who make this product every single day, and especially uh, Team Mustang for that great achievement. Now, as you guys know, performance and Mustang have gone, uh, gone hand in hand right from the beginning. Right from the beginning, uh, this car competed and won the Tour de France in 1964. Since then, it's had a fantastic heritage, obviously with partnerships like uh, with Carroll Shelby, with Jack Roush, all sorts of performance products. We raced in Trans Am, in road racing, in drag racing, even uh, late formulas such as drifting. But we've never competed in the highest top echelon of American uh, stock car racing, the most popular form of performance in the US. So for me, it's only appropriate that the Mustang now races in the most popular form of racing in the US, in the highest echelon of stock car racing. And I couldn't be prouder of the Ford Performance Team, our designers, all of our race teams for working together uh, with, with NASCAR to come up with a product that uh, not only will help us win on Sundays, but continue to reinforce this leg uh, legendary and iconic brand for our company. So with that, please join me in welcoming the all new Ford Mustang NASCAR race car.
Very impressive. Tony Stewart driving the car in, guys. How about that? Old Smoke joining the party. Let's get NASCAR's viewpoint of all this. Let's welcome up to the stage the Executive Vice President of Racing and Competition, Mr. Steve O'Donnell. Steve. Thanks, and how uh, great remarks, and certainly a uh, really exciting day for all of us at NASCAR. And on behalf of the France family, Mike Kelton, and all of the employees at NASCAR, I want to congratulate Ford, their employees, for a tremendous announcement today with the Mustang uh, entering, to the, in, entering into the Monster Energy Cup Series. You know, Ford's competed in NASCAR uh, since the 1950s, and during that time has had over 660 victories already put the, uh, the Ford in victory lane nine times this year. So won't be long, I'm sure, before in 2019. I'm sure Mark Rushbrook will be telling us to get this out there pretty quick. But I expect to see this in victory lane again very soon. You know, the, the power and style of the Mustang brand have just been iconic throughout America. And it's no secret that the NASCAR fan base is the most brand loyal. So I think when you put those two together, and we look at the future of NASCAR and Ford, particularly in the NASCAR, in the uh, Ford Mustang brand, I think you're going to see some great sales, and I also think you're going to see some great action on the track. So with today's announcement, I want to say a few thank yous to the entire Ford group, but call out a few folks, particularly Hal for his vision, uh, Phil, Mark Rushbrook, Todd Soderquist, Lance Mosley, Pat DeMarco, Tommy Joseph, also good to see our good friend uh, Dave Parasak back here as well. Uh, for their vision in believing in NASCAR to bring the Mustang uh, into the NASCAR Monster Energy Cup Series. So we're excited. We can't wait to see it on the track. And congratulations to all the employees to have something to rally around for next year. And we look forward to seeing it on the track. Thanks a lot. To uh, put a period on this day and this uh, great announcement, I want to introduce a man who's led the team in the development of this new car, a true racing and car enthusiast who now leads Ford's racing efforts. Please welcome to the stage the Global Director of Ford Performance Motorsports, Mark Rushbrook. All right, thank you very much, Marty. I'm really happy to be here. Uh, excited about this day. We've been anticipating this for a long, long time. Uh, I want to call out Howe and, and thank him for being here. His linkage to, to Mustang and its history means a lot and his leadership. Um, of our product development team and allowing us to work on projects like this uh, it means a lot to the whole company. Uh, Steve O'Donnell, definitely want to thank you uh, for the, your kind words, uh, but also for the process that you and Mike Helton and the NASCAR team have that allows us to develop cars like this, to go through the approval process, to have the relevance from the street car in the race car and give us the opportunity to develop and race it. It, it definitely means a lot and thank you for your partnership in that process. Um, and to the fans and the drivers that are here, I think there's a lot of excitement about Mustang and especially this new car. This turnout here is fabulous. It's great to have the drivers here. And Steve, I know with, with the approval process, we're approved for 2019, but maybe with all this excitement with the drivers, maybe Michigan, can we get it on track this weekend? <laughs> all right, well, we're looking forward to it. The competition debut will be uh, in February of next year at Daytona and uh, excited about finishing out the season with our, with our fusion, with the momentum that we have, but really excited to get this new Mustang on track next year. Obviously with Mustang, there's a, a lot of racing history and a lot of different series, including Xfinity and NASCAR, but to be able to bring it to the, the highest level in NASCAR in Cup, very, very excited about that. And the connection that it brings with all of the Mustang clubs with events like Woodward, with, with Mustang Alley and events like that, to have this as, as part of this at Woodward next week is going to be very exciting. Um, part of how we got here is the team and the partnership, and that's how we've been approaching our racing across all the different series, but especially in NASCAR. So, so this car is, is not just Ford Performance doing it. It's within all of Ford Motor Company. A lot of people have been involved, including Solomon in the design studio, so thank you for your input to help us get the character and speed in the car at the same time. But even more important is the partnership with all of our racing teams. So Stuart Haas Racing, Roush Fenway Racing, Team Penske, even working on cow pressures with Doug and his team to make sure we're optimizing every aspect of this and the ability to bring all those great ideas from all those different places and put it in one car is, is really meaningful for us. 
The other thing that, that is very meaningful to me is the missions that we have in motorsports and for performance. The first and foremost is we need to go win races and championships that matter. So we can do that now with a Mustang in the top level of the sport. But we also have missions of tech transfer, innovation, and sharing it back and forth between the road cars and the race cars, and also people development. And that's what I want to emphasize for this. It's, this isn't a totally separate effort. The same tools that we use for designing and developing in people um, that we use for designing and developing our street cars were applied here. We make those tools better and go back and make our road cars better. And the people that we're developing at the same time, we have had a lot of young engineers in training as part of this program. Um, and that's an important part that we give back to the company uh, from this experience. So it's, it's very meaningful for us. Um, the other thing as we're talking about Mustang is, although it already races in a lot of different places with the Mustang GT4 and it's in an HRA in a couple of different levels, we're doing new Mustangs in those series as well. So next week there'll be a new Mustang Cobra Jet that gets unveiled associated with Woodward. We've got a new Mustang coming for NHRA Funny Car that'll be unveiled later this year. And as Mustang has grown globally as a street car and with a Mustang GT4 road car, We've also announced earlier this year, and we will unveil later this year, a new Mustang for Australia's supercar. So a lot of exciting news coming near term for the Mustang and through the, year, through the rest of this year, and then a lot of new Mustangs on, on track next year in 2019. So we're excited about that. So we're up to the challenge. We've got a lot of passionate engineers that have worked on this, passionate teams, passionate drivers, and, and uh, just looking forward to getting the car on track in February next year. So thank you. Thanks so much, Mark. Uh, obviously, a lot of uh, exciting things for Ford and Ford Performance coming up uh, in 2019. So that's going to conclude the formal part of the program. I'd like to invite the drivers, the owners, and NASCAR officials up to hang around the car so for some photo ops and check out the car as well. For those of you watching us online, stay tuned for some special behind-the-scenes interviews, which we will have live coming up in a moment with some of the drivers here as the Ford Mustang is unveiled for 2019. Thanks so much for joining us, everyone. All right, let's chat with Brad Kozlowski. Uh, for those of you who are here and those of you joining us online as well, awesome looking race car, isn't it? Yes, Marty, it's, it's great to see the Mustang uh, make its way into the Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series. You know, when you think motorsports, you think performance, obviously, and when you think uh, the OEMs and Ford and performance, you think Mustang. So it's just such a natural crossover between the two. Mark Rushbrook mentioned something very interesting. He said the people involved. I mean, the man hours and, and, and people hours it takes to get a car like this designed. Does it amaze you sometimes when you think about that? You know, it's one of the things as a driver we kind of take for granted is how much actually goes into to building these cars. And, you know, to win, the, the margin between first and tenth is about a tenth of a second. And, and that's uh, about a, a tenth of a percent on, on the car's performance. So, you know, for us trying to find that extra little bit, we really rely on the, on the smart people that work here at Ford and, and their ingenuity, creativity to, to develop uh, some of the best race cars in the circuit. And I think this Mustang will fit that bill. What about having the Mustang as a race car? I mean, could you pick a more cool and iconic brand than that? No, you couldn't. And, uh, you know, I think all the things going on with the Mustang brand and, and some of the new lineup that, that's come in through it, uh, so much performance. And, and this is a car that, 
I'm going to be having fun driving, but I'm going to have as much fun telling the story about with my, my friends and my family when they come and look at my race car, and I can tell them it looks just like the Ford Mustang, and it's got a lot of power, too. You have the cool privilege of driving the, the street version 20 miles up here, so that's, that's a lot of fun. I saw you kind of burn it down over there, though, with a little bit of a burnout. I did. I, I checked the rear tires, and uh, <laughs> I can attest the car has much more power than the rear tires can handle, which is a good thing for a race car driver. It is a very good thing for the race car driver. All right, man. I, um, I know you're excited about this, and I know you're excited about MIS as well. Let's ask you one real quick race question. Yes, sir. Hometown race. Always put pressure on yourself because you're from Michigan. Oh, big time. We want to win here so badly. We've been so close. We finished second. We've led a lot of laps. We've won stages. Uh, we want to bring home the, the checker flag this weekend at, at Michigan. But uh, we're just glad to be in the area. We have a beautiful day, beautiful weekend for racing. And uh, hopefully we can get the two car up front to, to bring it home. All right, Brad Kozlowski would love to bring home the hometown win. So thanks for joining us real Appreciate quick. It, yeah, man, thank you. I think it's cool how Kurt Busch was back there kind of checking out the car, like every other detail of it. So let's chat with Kevin Harvick. Uh, what do you think of the new Mustang? It looks great. And, you, you know, I, you guys have heard me say this before, just the, the commitment that, that Ford has um, you know, committed to Stuart Haas racing and the sport in general is, is a lot of fun to be a part of. And this is just another step in the in the in the process of, of the things that they're doing because it takes a lot of time, a lot of people, a lot of money uh, to just get a car to the point of, of being able to submit it and, and put it on a racetrack. So it's fun to uh, see Mustang, um, you know, in the future on the racetrack. How, how much input or how much knowledge do you have of the process and, and knowing where it's at in stages of development? Um, I, I guess I should be careful in what I, what I say. Um, you know, I think as, as, you know, being a part of, of SHR, you know, you're, I feel like I'm pretty aware of, of things that are going on. And, and obviously there are conversations about, you know, things that you would look for in a, in a new car. And, you know, you hear us talk a lot about, about balance and, and making the car versatile. So, you know, you look at the car from Daytona and you look at the car uh, from Las Vegas Motor Speedway, and those are going to be vehicles that, that are quite a bit different from a, a, you know, from a downforce standpoint, from a drag standpoint. So, you know, you, you have a lot of ask uh, from, a, from a team and driver standpoint, but uh, from a Stuart Haas racing standpoint, uh, it's been great to uh, see the evolution of, of the car and to see it here and, and uh, be a part of the conversations earlier are a lot of fun. We talked about the Flat Rock Assembly Plant, the 10 millionth Mustang rolled off the line yesterday. Could you pick a, a brand that has more heritage than, than the Mustang to run in the Cup Series? Well, when you look at, you know, especially American sports cars and, and you look at NASCAR in general just being, a, you know, a true American sport and, and the things that, that come with that, you know, molding the two together and, and uh, seeing that happen on uh, race on the racetrack and in NASCAR is, is something that's going to be neat for everybody. All right, Kevin Harvick, I want to ask you one Michigan question. Boy, I thought you had the car to beat here in June. You guys were, were really quick at, at times. So what do you feel about Sunday? Yeah, I, I feel like, you know, our car should be good. And, and you know, we were, we were really good as, uh, like you say, earlier in the year. We've been good here uh, pretty much every time we've come here. So it, it would be uh, great to get to victory lane. And I think anything less than that would be disappointing. There you go. He wants to put his forward in victory lane. Kevin Harvick, everyone, thanks for joining us. See if we can grab Joey Logano here. How you doing? I'm doing great. Look at this hot rod. It's pretty cool, isn't it? I can't wait to drive it. Yeah, I, I said I got to join you, so I'm in. Oh, okay. Blaney's joining us, too. Hey, what's up? I'm just buttoning into your interview. Okay. What do you think of it? I like it. Yeah, it's, um, you know, whenever we can make it uh, look like the production vehicle, I think that's what everyone goes for. And, and then when we can, you know, put really great performance behind it, too, I think is uh, just a bonus. So um, I'm excited to get it on the racetrack and see what it performs like. So when, you, when, when you see something like this, doesn't it amaze you that the, the effort and the hours that go into making a race car racetrack ready? There's so much that goes into it, and it's not just, you know, Ford collaborated with a lot of the race teams and said, hey, what do you guys need when you're on the racetrack every week? And we all work together uh, to come up with what you see here. So to put the performance behind the car is important, but also to keep the awesome styling from the street car, uh, to put that on the racetrack and keep that the cars looking the same and keeping that badass look that the Mustang has and I think that's uh, it's exciting I can't wait to drive a Mustang on the racetrack and uh, ultimately pull it into a victory lane that looks similar to this yeah it'd be pretty cool wouldn't it so he's the newbie at Team Penske does he understand how important Sunday is to to Roger Penske the captain he's been around enough to know <laughs> <laughs> yeah you know it's an important race for him don't you yeah it's an important race for for RP and really for everybody for Ford and you know I drove for Motocraft last year is is a big deal for them too so uh, really, all the four drivers are gunning for this one, but uh, yeah, RP having a big you know hand in building this track. 
um, we definitely like to try to do well for them here. Cool. What impresses you the most about this new Mustang when you look at it styling-wise? Don't give away any secrets, you know. Hopefully speed, right? <laughs> that's a, that's it looks fast, all, though. We all look for it, but, you know, I think just the iconic uh, background uh, of the Mustang since 64, and it just sold her 10 millionth Mustang. I mean, that's, that's incredible, right? And that's, that's amazing, the, the, the backstory behind it. I'm a car guy, so I've been into, you know, Mustangs and old cars for a long time, and so it's cool to see that the histor history and historical uh, records behind what this car means to a lot of people. So I think to the fans, it's going to mean so much to see their car on the racetrack. It's going to be a fight to see who puts the Mustang in victory lane first, right? Yeah, you always want those bragging rights, and um, there really would be... No better now. place to do it. Yeah, we could. <laughs> no better place to do it than uh, the 500 here coming up in February. That'd be nice. That would be pretty cool, wouldn't it? So thank you guys for joining us. And uh, there you go. Thank you. Yes. Good thank seeing you. you. Let's get Steve O'Donnell from NASCAR in here. How are you? Big day for Ford and for NASCAR. Uh, it's a huge day for the sport, I think, especially all of our fans, right? Uh, iconic brand coming into the sport that's been in Xfinity, but to see it coming in in 2019 in the Monster Energy Series is going to be terrific. How, how significant is it for NASCAR to see manufacturers that, that love the sport and are passionate about the sport like Ford has been for so long? No, it's, it's huge, and, and to have Howe here and talk about you know his vision, I mean, his history in motorsports is, is unbelievable, uh, and he's... He's ultimately someone who's going to make that decision. Do we want to see the Mustang uh, participate in the Cup Series? And, and he led that, and it's been great collaboration, and I can't wait to see it. Is it a long process to get something like this done, Steve? I think that's kind of the untold story of this is not only from the Ford side, but from the NASCAR side to get everything improved so it's ready. It really is. It's almost probably like a two-year process in terms of the discussion, clay models, uh, coming up here and behind closed doors, you know, looking at things, seeing if it fits. And then you know, we have a really good process with all of our OEM partners where they come in and that final wind tunnel test, make sure it all fits within the parameters so everybody feels good about what's going to be launched on the track. And then ultimately you get to see this car here, and uh, it's fantastic. Fantastic. Is it always kind of a brush of, fresh air, brush of fresh air, I can say that, and a little bit of energy when a manufacturer comes in with a new brand and a new nameplate? It really is. Uh, I think it validates the sport uh, to see them believing, especially with an iconic brand like the Mustang. Uh, you know, people know that, people love that brand, and, and to know that that's going to be out there, uh, launched for the 2019 Daytona 500, you know, that gives all of our employees a little jump as well, and I think the race fans something in addition to cheer for. Cool. Steve O'Donnell, thank you, man. Thanks, Appreciate buddy. it, buddy. Appreciate yep. It. Let's get Mark in here. How about this process? This is a big day for you, isn't it? This is a big day. We've been looking forward to this for a long time. <laughs> what about the performance of this thing and, and the expectations right away? That's, that's where the rubber meets the road. Yeah, our, our intent is to go race as hard as we can with our Fusions this year and, and hit the track with a fast Mustang next year. So we're through the submission process. That's good. We can move forward, but there's a lot of work to do to make sure we have the speed when we hit the track in, in Daytona in February. You, you brought up a great point. Any idea like the man hours and the, and the time spent and the people that it's taken to get to this point? I, I'd hate to add it all up because I think it's a big number. I, I sat down the other day and just started writing down names of everybody that I knew that had worked on this, and I got up into the mid-40s very quickly. So across our own team, all of our racing teams, great partnership and support using the Penske Tunnel, using the, the wind shear tunnel. Uh, it's been a tremendous effort by a lot of people to get where we are today. Was there a point in this process where you said, wait a minute, the, the Mustang's never been in the Cup Series, where you thought, man, we should have done this a long time ago? Yeah, I guess in hindsight, we probably should have done it a long time ago. But, uh, no, we're so happy that it's coming now. It's the right car at the right time. It means a lot to the company right now. Ten millionth rolled off the line yesterday. That's amazing to me. So I want to I get a sense from you the pride the people in Flat Rock have for this day. Oh, absolutely. We were down there this morning. The parade left from there and so much pride, especially with 10 million being produced yesterday. Um, and this event today, it means a whole lot and a lot more racing Mustangs coming in the future, too. All right. Did you make sure you told all 13 drivers they're supposed to win Sunday? Oh, they're on it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Thanks, Mark. Congratulations on a big day for you guys. Thank you, bud. Let's get Tony Stewart in here. Got to drive it first. How about that, Smoke? I got 20 miles in it so far, so <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty cool. It's um you know, to follow all these drivers and Mustangs and uh, be the one to drive the race car here was a, a pretty cool honor. So uh, it's first time I told him, I said, it's the first time I've been in a, a cup car since uh, Homestead in 2016. So uh, the first time that I've got to, the opportunity to drive a Ford finally uh, it, with a cup car. So it's a, it, it's a beautiful race car. Um, cannot wait to get our four drivers uh, and teams uh, going next year with this race car. 
How different is the process now that you're on the owner's side versus the driver's side before and the input you may have had throughout this whole process? Well, I don't have any input. I'm not <laughs> smart enough to have the input, but we have great people at Stuart Haas Racing, and uh, you know we're in our second year with Ford right now, and it's been the the transition was so seamless that uh, you wouldn't have known last year that we were with our first year with them. But uh, to work with the new Mustang and, and work with their group, it's just uh, it's been a lot of fun, and I know our engineers uh, had a blast working with everyone at Ford on this Mustang. So uh, it's such an iconic brand and iconic race car that has been everywhere, and now it's finally in the Elite Series and NASCAR where it belongs. How much excitement does it build within the walls of Stuart Haas to say, hey, we've got something cool to work on for next year? Yeah, trust me, we got a lot of excited people there that uh, can't wait to, to really get hands-on and, and get working on these things in the shop instead of in secret rooms that, that they've had to work on. So. Uh, you know, we'll get through the rest of this year, try to deliver a championship, and then uh, get working on this Ford and get ready to get it in winter circle next year and get it a championship as well. You mentioned the iconic name. Could you pick a more iconic name than the Mustang? The 10 millionth just rolled off the line yesterday. It's insane. Yeah, it is, and it's it just shows uh, what this brand and what this make and model have uh, you know meant to so many people. It's such an iconic uh, name and an iconic uh, brand that it's. It's worldwide. I mean, everybody, if you are if you know anything about cars at all and you know anything about Ford, the first thing you think about is the Mustang. So, um, you know, like I said, it's 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 really exciting to, to finally see it get to the cup level where it deserves to be. All right, Smoke, thanks so much, man. Forever the first guy to drive the Ford Mustang. How about that? Pretty cool. That's going to wrap it up from here. What a great day for Ford and for NASCAR as well and the debut of an awesome-looking new Ford Mustang race car for the Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series in 2019. Thanks so much for joining us.